Hey everyone, uh, ready to dive into something pretty cool. Today we're going deep on AI agents. And uh, we're not talking about, you know, those basic chatbots, the ones that can barely hold a conversation. No, we're talking AI that can like plan, learn, even use tools to interact with the world. Almost like we've given AI hands and a brain to actually use them. So uh, let's unpack this a bit. What makes these AI agents so different from say a chatbot? You know, the ones that just spit out text. Well, it all comes down to this idea of them being able to act, to act on information. They don't just process words. They use those words to make decisions and get things done. Imagine uh, a chef in a kitchen. They don't just read recipes right, they gather ingredients, chop veggies, adjust the heat. They're taking action based on what they know. And that's what these AI agents are starting to do. But in the digital world, they can access information from all sorts of places, databases, the internet, you name it, and then use that info to do things like book appointments, write code, even analyze data. It's all about connecting thinking to doing. And that's where things get really interesting. One of the key things that makes this possible is that AI agents can use tools. It's like giving them a toolbox full of digital gadgets. And that expands what they can do. Think of things like APIs, which are like digital messengers that let them tap into other systems. So instead of just knowing that you need to book a flight, an AI agent could actually connect to an airline system and make the booking for you based on your preferences and your calendar. It's that level of real world interaction that really sets them apart. And these tools aren't just limited to simple tasks either. They can be combined, customized to create incredibly complex systems. It's like building with digital Lego blocks. You know, you can create all sorts of amazing things just by putting the right pieces together. But how do these AI agents actually learn to use these tools and how do they make decisions? Well, uh, they have a few tricks up their sleeves. So one way they learn is this really cool thing. It's called in context learning. It's like uh, giving the AI a cheat sheet, a cheat sheet for a specific task. Think of it this way. You're trying to teach someone how to bake a cake right instead of handing them a whole cookbook. You just show them a few key examples and some instructions. That's in context learning. The AI agent uses those examples to figure out what to do in that specific situation. But uh, it doesn't stop there. AI agents can also tap into like vast amounts of information, almost like having a super powered memory called uh, retrieval based learning. And it basically lets them access and use all sorts of data to help them make decisions. Imagine being able to like instantly pull up every article, every study, every report on a topic, whenever you needed it. That's the kind of power we're talking about here. And then there's fine tuning, yeah, which is all about helping them become experts. Experts in specific areas. Think of it like um, specialized training, training for a particular job. So say you need an AI agent to analyze financial data. You can fine tune it by giving it tons of market trends, economic reports, company information. It's like sending it to business school. But in the blink of an eye, now you might be thinking, okay, this is cool and all, but where can I actually see these AI agents in action? Well, the truth is they're already popping up everywhere. There are platforms like Langchain and Vertex AI that developers are using to build and deploy these agents for all kinds of tasks. And companies are experimenting with using them too, like in customer service marketing, even healthcare. It's still early days. But the potential is huge. Imagine a world where AI agents can help us manage our day-to-day -day tasks provide like personalized recommendations, even collaborate with us on complex projects. But with all this potential come some pretty big questions too. Like if these AI agents can really do all that, how do we make sure they're used ethically? And what happens to all the jobs that are traditionally done by humans? These aren't just like hypothetical questions. They're challenges we need to like address head on. Think about it. If an AI can handle your schedule, book your travel, even draft your emails. What does that mean for all the people who used to do those jobs? It's a complex issue with no easy answers, but it's definitely a conversation we need to be having. And then there's the whole question of ethics. How do we make sure these AI agents are being used for good, you know, and not for harm? How do we prevent bias? The fact is AI agents also have the potential to make our lives easier, more efficient, maybe even more fulfilling. Just imagine having an AI that could handle all those little tedious tasks, the things that bog you down every single day, like scheduling appointments, sorting through emails, even paying bills. That would free up so much time and energy for you to focus on the things you actually enjoy, the things you're really good at. It's almost like having a super efficient assistant who's always available, always learning, and always working to make your life better. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. We're just scratching the surface of what AI agents can do as they keep learning and evolving. Who knows what they'll be capable of? Maybe they'll help us solve some of the world's biggest challenges, like climate change or poverty. Maybe they'll like revolutionize things like healthcare, education, transportation. The possibilities are pretty much endless. 
And that's what makes it such an exciting time to be alive. We're on the edge of a technological revolution, and AI agents are right at the forefront. So what does this all mean for you? It means that we all have a role to play in shaping the future of AI. We need to stay informed, stay curious, and most importantly, stay engaged in the conversation. The future of AI isn't set in stone. It's something we're all creating together. So let's make sure we build a future where AI benefits everyone, not just a select few. This deep dive was just the starting point, but hopefully it's given you a glimpse into the incredible potential of AI agents. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning because the future of AI is in our hands.